I wanted to share as best I could what we would have been doing with like a hands-on manipulative, um, looking at these different lattice structures. Um, so let's start with a simple cubic. Um, I have little styrofoam balls. If you have things like uh, marshmallows at home or gummy candies and toothpicks, you can do the same thing. I'm actually straight out of toothpicks. I just like don't have them. And so I'm using skewers. It's not great, <laughs> I admit. And I only had a handful of them. So I'm going to be able to show you a few structures, um, not exactly all of them. Um, but this might be a fun way to kind of play around with it. Um, so one thing that we have here is for a simple cubic, um, we would have a set of four balls that would touch each other like this, right? And then for a simple cubic, we would have another layer that would stack directly on top of each other. Let's see if I can pull this off. So we've got one layer. Okay. And then a second layer would stack, let's go like this, directly on top like this. Sorry. Again, this would be easier if I had more toothpicks. Um, so let's compare that to then a body-centered cubic. Um, so if I had a body-centered cubic, I would start with that one layer and then I would have it offset, which means there would be one more that would kind of fit in this little hole right here. So now I'm going to try doing this really impressive balancing act with this. Um, so I would have my layer and then I would have a ball that would rest in between right here and then another layer would be on top. Um, and this would be that kind of ABA arrangement like this. Let's see if I can get it. And so we can see that actually the, the ball in the center is gonna be just touching that top and bottom layer and, and it'd be really unlikely for it to be able to actually physically touch um, another sphere within its same lattice plane. Um, and so this would be our body centered cubic, as terrible as that is to look at. Sorry. Okay. Um, and I have one that's actually made well, which I think the face centered cubic is one that's kind of hard to visualize. And so this one has all of the toothpicks. Um, so here's a face centered cubic version of our um, way of arranging atoms in a lattice. And you can see that we have a layer of four here on the bottom. Um, with uh, one in the middle here. And then it's got another four that are offset layering on top of it. And then another layer like that on the top. So what you in effect have is on each of these faces, you have five atoms. And so each face of this cube has five atoms that are on that face. Um, and without one in the center. And the body center cubic just has one in the center with four atoms on each face. So hopefully this helps a little bit. It's much more useful if you can actually hold it in your hands. So if you have the materials um, or if you are doing a grocery run and wanna pick up some toothpicks, um, this might be a helpful tool to create for yourself. But if not, um, again, like I don't have toothpicks. Um, and I only have these styrofoam spheres because I'm a chemistry teacher and a total nerd. Um, one other thing you can do is we'll have in our lab simulation um, 3D models that you can look at um, and you can rotate them on the screen and look at them in all different directions, which I find really helpful. And um, this week's lab activity is very much a, a, a tool to help get comfortable with these, visualizing these 3D structures. So I recommend doing it early in studying chapter 10. After you finish the lab and turn it in, I will then, um, there'll be a page that becomes available to you that'll have kind of a summary lecture that summarizes the coordination number, the number of atoms per unit cell, and the volume of the unit cell, which is something that you'll be doing in the lab. So I recommend doing the lab early and then following up with that video to kind of self-check yourself.